While at the GEO Professional Business Association's 2015 Spring Conference in Miami, James Harless of SME spoke on a panel about cross-selling services. He talked to us about how SME does it and why geotechnical professionals should consider it. Probably the most common projects where we've been able to effectively deliver multiple service lines are larger brownfield redevelopment projects where often we'll start with the environmental services and not only do we have the, the classic environmental but we are also out finding brownfield financing to help pay for some of those extra costs. Since these sites have been previously used there are a lot of subsurface issues, constructability issues, so our geotechnical engineers are very valuable for us to bring in to help package we have drilling services, we can bring that to bear on the project, and then at the end of the project, once it goes under construction, our construction materials engineers can monitor not only the environmental exposure barriers or remediation activities, but also the standard construction activities of concrete and steel. The benefit has been clients, municipalities even, that have developers approaching them to work on very large sites know that we can handle the whole package and they can send them to us and what we can't do we can help them uh, find service providers. Being able to provide multiple services we have increased revenues even if our geotechnical team our environmental team brings them in very often the the team that has the initial lead won't even have the max revenue off of the project. But our key is it's a one company approach. We are trying to maximize revenue and profit for the company regardless of who gets credit on the sheet.